Yo, what is happening everybody? Magnification, today I'm here guys with some more March Comes In Like a Lion episode 19 and last time episode 18. We had some really good fucking scenes, visuals, art direction for this anime is amazing. I gotta read the manga, I've been meaning to read the manga for a while now just to see the differences uh, because the manga has this like pretty unique style that um, they adapt pretty well to the anime, but the anime has some things here and there that I feel like are basically original um, and some visuals, some stuff that they do that is just fucking awesome. And yeah, last episode was just great when it comes to that. Also, of course, story development, uh, Shimada, his match in the tournament, he ended up losing it. Um, yeah, just some, some crazy stuff. Uh, the sisters finally getting to know who Kyoko is. Lots of good things last episode. And yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into 19, okay guys? Uh, of season 1. Dude, we are pretty close to finishing off this season. We have... Um, wait, actually. 20, 21, 22? Wait, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm bad at math. I'm fucking bad at math. Just ignore this. But yeah, we have three more episodes after this one. And that's gonna be next week here in the channel so next week we're gonna be done with uh the first season of sun guts it's gonna be pretty good um but yeah it's gonna be pretty nice uh to you know finally be done with the first season i started this shit like uh at the beginning of uh, this year i think pretty much been a fucking while since i started this uh of course it wasn't hiatus for the longest time um uh, but yeah hopefully season two we're gonna be more consistent with it and hopefully be able to finish it by the end of the year anyways uh 19 like I said, without much further ado, let's just get into it. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to start this in three, two, one. Now, I kind of changed um, the camera angle a little bit. I don't know if you guys noticed. I think it was a bit weird. I always have problems with that, with the fucking camera angles. God damn it. Hopefully it's not that noticeable now that I have the green screen. But I don't know. I'm really excited for season two, mostly because I want to see, uh, <laughs> I want to see OP, um, OP3, NED3, and probably 4 as well, I'm thinking here. It probably changes, uh, halfway through the season, like this one. I just really, really love this OP. Hopefully, uh, the next one, you know, lives up to the quality of the OPs in this show. OPs and EDs. Mama, do ya? Mama, do ya? Let's go! Passing the night. Okay. Whoa, whoa. More Shimada stuff, okay. Good. Oh, his hometown with the, the snow. Whoa. Damn. He grew up with Shogi instead. Video games, books. Damn. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, but, but Shogi. Yep. Wow. That's when it began. Yep. And to this day. <laughs> wow. Ooh. 
Whoa, what a backstory. This is great. Whoa. Yeah, can imagine it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> he was able to go to Tokyo. Okay. Damn. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah, with the big boys. That's nice, that's nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. I'm having chills, dude. <sighs> that was amazing. That was a great beginning to this episode. Holy fuck. Oh, okay. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, he wasn't talking about Koda. Yep. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Whoa, dude. And he could tell just by... A day's response right away. Huh. So he just came here to, to help him out. Give him some food. What a nice kid. Huh, interesting. Huh, in the middle of the night. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Poor guy, he's losing all his hair over this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna rest. Okay. Well, that's what uh, he said at the end of the last episode, right? And he's the only one getting uh, anything out of this. You too. Huh. Whoa! Wow! Wow! That's good! Holy shit! That's why, okay. Damn. <laughs> hmm. A bird. Wow. Yeah. Of course not. Damn. Wow. Damn. The distance between them, right? Yeah. Wow. Indeed. Okay. Wow. That fucking sucks. Of course. Nice. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome.
All right. All right, Shimada. <laughs> wow. Kyoto. Part one. Okay, we're going to Kyoto. But yeah, I was a little confused last time. I thought like there was the last match uh, against uh, against Soya, but no, that wasn't the last match. They still have I don't know exactly how many matches they still have, but yeah, it's not over quite yet. He still has the chance of doing something. He has to win at least one game. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're going together. Wow. Damn. Don't be. He, he really needs this. He really needs to play against you. Here we are. Uh, uh, the chairman. <laughs> well, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> Poor Shimada. Wow. This is a nice room. Yeah, he actually likes that. He likes that. He can depend on him. I'm really liking this. This is a uh, uh, growing their relationship quite a bit. What the fuck? All right, all right. Oh, he lives here. Damn. Damn, interesting. Grandma, okay. <laughs> Okay. That's nice too. Some uh, more information about Soya. We don't know very much anything about him. Do it. Come on. Do it. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. Damn. OK. 
Okay. Fair enough. Damn. Wow. <gasps> this is fucking awesome. Fuck. Oh, damn. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> Bruh, are you serious? Th this chairman. <laughs> This fucking chairman, man. Wow. <sighs> he sure is something. <laughs> yeah, please, come on. Okay, it's a myth. In a while since you saw him. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bruh. Um, uh, <laughs> he didn't need to know that. <laughs> Come on, Smith. Oh, the cat? Wait, is that what? Uh, I'm confused. Is that like a day and he was just like <laughs> carrying him here? Like a fucking cat? Very much? <laughs> well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> poor Smith and poor Lee. He has no idea. <laughs> That this is a cat. Wow, he thinks he's a girlfriend or something. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Okay. Here we are. It's happening, guys. Who knows? He said it doesn't during the matches, which is interesting. He just gets so focused, probably, right, that he doesn't even feel pain. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, that's the end of the... Wow, this episode flew by. Holy shit, that's the end of the episode already. God damn. The previous one uh, didn't feel as fast as this one. I don't know, this one just like... Flew by. But yeah, pretty good episode.
Kami sama. Like I, like you guys already know, I really fucking like um the ZD. Kami sama doka doka. Ah, uh, I gotta say, this past two episodes made me like Shimada way more. I already liked him. I think he's my favorite character in this show now. I don't know, like. I, 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 <laughs> hold on, uh, let me see the, the art piece here at the end. Um, oh, and it's it's a Shimada art piece. Good. Poor dude, he's holding his uh, his stomach. Uh, and it's an illustration by Nakamura Hikaru. Uh, okay, uh, it's another mangaka, but I don't know the mangas. Like usual, I'm very uncultured and I pretty much never uh, know the people that show up here. <laughs> in the uh, illustration thing at the end. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically at the very end, right after the uh, preview, which I skip, we have uh, uh, an art piece. And we had some ones from big names, like we had one from um, the Berserk mangaka. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it's some more uh, underground people that I don't know. Uh, well, that's like usually most of the time. But yeah, anyways, uh, really good episode. Um, Really enjoyed it. And, um, hold on, let me take this off. I loved the, the, the little backstory, like talking about, um, Shimada's hometown. He lived with basically lots of older people, right? He didn't have any friends, uh, any people around his age. So he would just, uh, read manga, play video games, that stuff. But one day he got introduced to Shogi by the other people in the village and uh, he got really interested in it. He realized how much of a complex game it is and how there's not an ending like, you know, video games that he played back then. Uh, and um, yeah, that was really good. I really like that, that, you know, just, uh, dude, like I said, like I said, <laughs> I, it's hard to say for sure who's my favorite character here there's lots of really good characters in this show today is probably very high up um but yeah shimada all the backstory from him was really good i really really like um him after this way more than i did before this dude he is fucking awesome man <laughs> Like when he was a kid going to Tokyo, traveling in that bus, and that was around the time where he started getting the stomachs and uh, dude, the way that the show narrates the story, um, Shimada talking about how he had nightmares and stuff and the, the cracking of the seats, all of that. Just like the narrating in this show is really, really good. It's really good. And I like that it's usually narrated by the character that is, uh, you know, saying, um, whatever he's saying, right? It's not like a narrator, it's the character and it changes depending on the character that is, that is narrating what uh, the scene is portraying. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really good, it's really good. And uh, this was a great episode, again. Um, I'm a little confused, okay? I am sorry about that, guys, about the games. I'm not sure like how it works because this is the finals, right, of the tournament. So I I'm not sure, just like lots of different games and from what I understood, uh, Shimada lost lots of games already, right? And he just wants to win at least one, pretty much. He doesn't want to lose all of them. And they are in Kyoto now. Uh, really cool seeing like a little bit of a different scenery too, right? Um, Kyoto has this more classic Japanese style. Um, and we are in Tokyo usually, right? Which is more modern. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And I am excited to see the next episode, hopefully, to see the match between Shimada. Because, like, I really hope we get to see the match in detail between Shimada and Soya. That would be really good if we got to see what each one of them think and how they think during the matches. That would be really good. But, yeah. Uh, before I finish this, 
uh, real quick, the stuff with um, Shimada and Rei, because I think I kind of forgot to comment that on the last episode, right? Uh, Rei, he thinks that he does, he isn't bringing anything to the table. He's just gaining a lot of um, of knowledge, right, uh, by going to the workshop and stuff. And he himself isn't really uh, giving anything of equal value to um, Shimada. And uh, but he realizes that that's not the case, right? Shimada he really likes playing against Rei because Rei thinks like Soya, and that was really good because we didn't know that, right? Like we were getting new information about Soya slowly but surely, uh, and that was really good. Uh, and yeah, he should should be more confident in you know his ability to um, help other people because he isn't confident at all in that. But yeah. Uh, he's being really nice, and the chairman, wow, big memes, that dude is just, what the fuck, his personality is fucking funny, um, and he's gonna, yeah, and Soya was really nice too in this episode, he, he knows that uh, Shimada, probably he knows about the stomachs and stuff, right, and he was just like, dude, let me, let me handle this, you can go home already, uh, and yeah, really nice of him, and yeah, like, lots of really good stuff with Shimada and Soya in this, in this episode, excited for the next one? Hope you guys are there as well. I'll see you there next week, okay? Next week, actually, um, I'm gonna be... Because I usually do two uploads. But next week, since uh, we have only three episodes left of the season, I'm gonna upload the rest of the season, okay? So, yeah, that's gonna be good. See you guys there. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.